time to go set up a little hide. Let me just get my chair as well. And I'm ready to go. Going this way. Back in the Highlands of Scotland. It's kind of like where it all started for me. But a year ago, I was here at the same place and um, I did a review of one of the Tragopan hides, the Monal hide. And uh, it's kind of where it started, and after that, I started working with Tragopan. And today, back up here, and I know, I know quite a bit about this area now. So there's quite a few deer, there's quite a few Sika deer in the fields around here. And there's also brown hares all over the place. I haven't seen any brown hares today, but I have seen the Sika deer out this morning. And uh, there's a hare. <laughs> Perfect. This place is just teeming with wildlife. I do absolutely love this place. And this morning, or actually this afternoon, I went about and just took my binoculars and I did have my camera as well, but I wasn't really going out to shoot anything. I was just trying to find a place where I could find a little bit of cover. I wanted to use the ghillie blanket, which is what I got with me here today. It can be an option for someone who doesn't can't afford or can't justify spending the money on a hide right away, start out with a ghillie blanket. So you can adapt it to a lot of situations. I've used it before, just basically just lying down in a field and throwing it over me, which has worked really well. And also you can attach it to different structures and try and make a hide out of it, which is what I'm gonna do here today. And once you have it, and you do upgrade to a hide eventually, it's a really good addition to a hide to use on top of it, or to just cover it up even better. So when I was out earlier today, I was looking for signs in the forms of uh, tracks, paths, uh, poo. Besides having seen them here, I know they're in the area, I want to find a place where I kind of know that they're going to be back to. So they use these fields and woodland all behind me here and they often hide into this woodland. Uh, when I came across here though, I don't know if you can see this in the grass, but I kind of a path going down here. So there's been a, quite a bit of activity over here by the fence. And you can see here, but this seems to be a place where they often would jump over. Yes. A lot of activity on the other side here, into the woodland, into the fields, and then coming to an end here at the fence, and then over on the other side. And then most likely just walking over this side, stone wall, and into here. So it's like a quite a clear, clear path here, and I mean it looks fairly well used. It's hard to tell because they use so much of this area that I found a couple of places they use. I can definitely tell they use more than other places because there's just so many tracks and it's so trampled down. But that's more kind of in the middle of the forest here. And that's not going to do very well. I'm not going to get great light in there. Uh, you can see here now, I had great light here in the afternoon. And also, early ish morning, the, the sun is going to filter through these trees and start coming above it. So what I have in mind is, I said, just behind me here is where I think there's going to be quite a bit of activity. And up against this fence here, or behind the fence, I'm thinking maybe behind because it might be easier to throw the ghillie blanket over and down on a slant. So I'm going to use what's here and make myself a little shelter of the ghillie blanket. Now I got my chair with me, I got a tripod with me, so I can sit inside it 
and if I find I might use some other small um, nets or scrim netting or anything like that that I might need to extra cover. Ideas come back here for maybe quarter past five or so in the morning. It's gonna be dark and I'm gonna come out here and wait. And hopefully I'm gonna catch some wildlife tomorrow morning right here. So I'll see you tomorrow. The way I've done it is I've set the tarp, the poncho, uh, diagonal, just to keep me out of the wind that's coming from that direction. Um, so that's keeping me pretty dry. And then behind me here, put up the, the ghillie blanket. And I also have some of these scrims here across the camera that I can help throw over myself and one in front of my legs. Pretty good setup. I'm quite enjoying this. Um, there's nothing's in the field here now, but I'm in a pretty good position. I got good visibility, so I'm just gonna hunker down here and wait for a bit. Back out here where I put up the um, ghillie blanket and the pond show yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't get up that early today. I didn't sleep very well, so there's just no chance I was going to make it up for five o'clock on about two, three hours sleep. So I didn't make it up this morning, and there's nothing in the field here now. This is the same field that I've been watching now. I had over on the other side, I had a morning there, and I've had an afternoon here. I'm back here now, there's nothing in the field, even though there is signs of deer here, so I know they use this field, I've also seen them in it before, but I think I'm going to take advantage of the fact that this is a movable hide, this is just a ghillie blanket I can take with me, and I can make a little, create a little hide um, as I go. And then we're going to start walking into the woodland here. I can feel now that wind is coming from behind me here, so I think what I'm going to have to do is walk down the side of it, there's a path below here and I'm gonna have to circle all the way around just so I'm walking into the wind. deer in the field spotted me right away. It's not far away. There's more. They just jumped out of the bushes right in front of me here. Oh, and the first deer 
saw me, what I did then, I just kept walking and I pretended not to look at it. And sometimes that can work. They're quite funny like that. They'll watch me for any kind of difference in behavior in me. If I stop or if I try and approach them, they'll flee right away. Right now they're actually looking at me over my shoulder. And they're, they're used to people walking on this track and sometimes cars on it. So very often they'll just stop and they'll just look and see what you do. So right now I'm pretending I haven't seen them. Just ignore them, keep walking. Hopefully that won't spook them. Sometimes it doesn't. They're just weary, but when the threat is over and I'm gone, I'll eventually relax again. That's the idea anyway. And I'm just going to continue around in a wide circle so they don't see me. And then I'm going to try and walk back up this way. And maybe I'll come close to those ones again, or maybe some other ones. But at least I want to stir any kind of alarm calls or fleeing just because I walked here. here as well. Alright, now I'm going to move slowly I'll put away the vlogging camera because I need to have my hands free to scan with my binoculars and be quick to get down if I see anything. So I'll put this away, I'll bring it back up once we see something. in on the deer and they were in a field in front of me so this time I put up the ghillie blanket over me got my tripod on my side and tried to capture them again but then I had a buzzard fly really low almost 20-30 meters in front of my little structure here and landed in a telephone pole so I stood there for a while had no idea that I was here started calling and then I got contact with another buzzard on the other side. He, he went back and forth for a bit and then all of a sudden they flew right past the ghillie blanket. Must have been 15, 20 meters and they landed in between the trees. One of them flew away and then I managed to take my f camera and lens off my tripod and just move slowly in position so I was pointing in that direction and I got some shots of it in between the trees and I just love it. Have a look. I think everything is gone now but check this out. I'm super happy with this. There's a few that I think Quite good. Last I saw the deer, they're in the field behind me here, and they were just walking slowly further away. So our house is in that direction, anyways. So I'm going to pack this up again, continue stalking, continue moving slowly along the field boundary, along the hedge making sure that I'm not breaking in profile and keeping some bushes and trees behind me to see if I can get more images of those deers. But if not, that's a successful day to me and just what an experience. 
5.20 in the morning and I want to head out one last time. Last night when I was walking, I could see quite a few tracks near a fence line. So I'm going to head to that now and hopefully get there before sunrise. Quite cold this morning. Just packing up my stuff here. I just had, just before I was packing up there, just had a couple of deers walk across here, and I got a couple of images. It doesn't always, doesn't always come together, and that's been the last couple of days. Been out here, you know, hiding out and get a blanket, various locations, and it didn't quite come together. But that's. That's wildlife for you. It's not always gonna to come together. It's about patience and going out there again and again. Remember that you can get the new hides from Tragopon. Uh, we're gonna be releasing them later this month. So check out the website. I'll put up some images of the new gear that's coming out right now. And it's got a new camouflage pattern. We've got the Monal 2 coming out, V6 coming out with additional room. I check them out on the website and know that uh, you can order these things for on the pre-sale now um, for delivery later this month and if you do there's a discount for you so check out the website with the prices that are there now uh, it won't last that long it'll go back to normal soon so uh, take advantage of that and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one